Now we might want to link some of this information up to our assembly, which we can do. I'll just save mine for right now. I'll hit say square tube with and plate just to give it a name and save all the dependencies. We might in a scenario want this end plate to come either out half the thickness or in half the thickness and we can use that from the original part and it's the same procedure we go to our parameters click the link we select our square tube and we'll say open and again we select the parameters we want and in this case I'm only going to want the thickness so I'll select that one and I'll say OK. If you came to a point where you wanted to add more parameters from a part, you can right click it and say Edit Folder, which will bring back the dialog box. And if I wanted the square tube size in or the length in, I can select those. But in this case, all I'm going to use is the thickness. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to say OK. Now, I'm not 100% sure which one. I think it was D0. So I'm going to take a gamble and say D0 equals thickness divided by 2. So is THK divided by 2. Now we'll see if it goes in or out, but now I've linked that information. So I'll say done. And I apparently needed a negative value. As you can see now, it went in. So in order to get it to go out, we can select the parameter out here. You'll see the equation. And all I need to do is make it a negative one and hit enter. And the part will come out a little bit. This might be for welding or whatever you need it to be. But as you can see, I can also link my values up to my assembly. Now, if you try to go the other way, Inventor will warn you and say, well, you can't because it'll be a dependency that will not always be there. So you cannot go at this point from an assembly to the part. But what we have done here is make a driver part or a main part in our assembly that we can run the whole assembly out of. And there is no reason for this one part to be the only values we use. We can have the size of this put together square tube if we wanted to on the part. I can open up my part or let me see I have it down here I want to close this one down just so you can see if I double click this part I can go to my parameters I can add numeric parameters and say for instance long side if I wanted to have a long side, short side, this was a frame, whatever it might be, I can have this, this driver part run my assembly so that I change the pipe size of my pipe, the thickness of my plates, and all other things I want to control from this one square tube pipe. So I don't have to use these values internally but I can export them and use them somewhere else. But I'm having them all in one part. I can say it's ready for export. I'll hit done. Well, let me show you what happens if I don't uncheck that. I'll say done. I'll go back out. Click on my FX. 
I'll go edit the folder. Now you'll see under user parameters, I have one called long side. It does not have the arrow on it, but if I select it, it'll give me my warning. Non, non exported objects. It will modify the base component and make it ready for export. I'll say, okay, I need it. So I'm going to say that's fine. I'm going to say, okay, that reads in that information. I can say uh, done. Now I can go back to my square tube and we'll see what happened in the parameters. I'll click my parameters and you can see the long side now is checked for export. So if you should forget or you should need one from your part or any part, make it ready for export the first time around. It's not a, a big deal. If you want it read into your parameters, you do need to make it ready for export. I'll hit return. And there is our part with a plate that fits inside. Perfectly. I can show you in wireframe. Let me get that on here. Wireframe. And we can see these two, the gray one's not that easy to see. But if I select it, you'll see this part fits perfectly inside the square tube. And if I put my shade back on and I change my thickness on my square tube, double click it, go to your parameters. I'll make it, I'll leave it at four inch, but a quarter inch thick. I'll say uh, done. I will go return and it updates automatically. So your part will always fit. And that's in short, the linking of parameters either into your part description or to another part or the assembly. In this lesson, we looked at how you can link your parameter values into your description of your parts. We looked at how you can have your parameters be a multi-value. We also looked at how you can link your parameters from one part to another and how you can link them into an assembly. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.